there everyone, it's Carrie with Any Day Blessings and today I'm going to give somewhat of an update video. Um, I'm going to start off with our pre-K curriculum in this video and hope to do some other update videos for our other subjects later on. But if you follow me on Instagram, some of this stuff you'll have already seen, but I thought I'd just kind of put the last six weeks into one video for those of you who prefer to catch a video update from time to time. Um, for pre-K we are using, sorry I've got several things sitting here, we are using Momoya Press and um, I'm actually using the Book of Crafts as my spine. Now they do have a whole curriculum package for pre-K or they actually call it Junior Kindergarten and they have a curriculum manual and um, lots of different uh, workbooks and read aloud books and this craft book. So this is um, not how the program uh, was intended was initially designed but it's how I've made it my own so I actually am using uh, this book of crafts uh, for junior kindergarten as sort of my jumping point for all the activities for the week and I'm also using the Rod and Staff ABC series books that Memorial Press um, does recommend and schedule within their their junior kindergarten program as well However, I'm not using uh, the other components of the program uh, that Memorial Press directly publishes. I'm just sitting, using the Rod and Staff books for now. We'll see where we are after Christmas time. But I thought I'd just kind of let you know and show you a few of our little projects and uh, give you an idea of some of the things that you'll do. Uh, one little note I will make. Um, I didn't really look at this when I was planning this uh, all out, but here's the table of contents. I'll just let you look here real quick. This um, lists the read aloud books that are scheduled, the literature books that are scheduled in the program, but it does it in alphabetical order. And that's not the same order that Memorial Press schedules it in the curriculum manual, the actual program. And I wish I would have gone by that list. That list is on their website if you click on uh, the Junior K program and it lists out the books there. Those are listed in order that you read them uh, during the school year if you follow their curriculum guide. Now I just am using this like I said and so these are listed in alphabetical order and so if you see here like week 18 or not week 18 but like week 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 would be in November. Now that might work out okay, but when you go over to, uh, there was somewhere else with snow that was supposed to be like week 33, the mitten, maybe it was the mitten, and you make paper mittens, like that's definitely a winter book. <laughs> it's not, you know, something you want to do at the end of your school year. So some of the books that were scheduled for, like, like snow is scheduled way down here if I do it just in alphabetical order as it's listed here. I was just planning to go down one book at a time and just do one book per week and, and go from there. I wish I would have known that these weren't listed in here in the same order that they're listed uh, to go along with seasons and holidays and things like that. So not, not a big deal. I, I caught it pretty quickly and I've just been keeping my eye out for fall books and, and Christmas books and things like that so we can get those uh, sooner and do those sooner. But that's really the only little glitch. Everything else has worked out so simply and beautifully and I really do love the plan that we have. I give it two thumbs up and would definitely do it this way again if I, if I had another pre-K student uh, coming up behind. So um, I did show you this in another video but I will just, in case you missed it, it does give the directions and the picture of what the completed project is going to look like. But I'll just show you a couple of the projects we've done. We're doing both the literature craft and the letter craft. So um, there are um, crafts for both. We do two crafts per week. So this is our A is for apple craft. Okay, and then I actually do um, as well, I should have brought one of those up here. I actually do a very simple uh, printable sheet for each letter. I will link that below where I get those from. I actually, um, it's like, my Little Monkeys blog, I think is what it's called, but I'll leave the link below. And it's it's very large letters with tracing that the kids can start practicing their letters, but they're, they're really, really big. So we are doing that as soon as we make our little craft. So this is B is for bat, we made a bat, and then we did that little uh, printable, and then D is for dog. 
So these are all in the Junior K um, book here in the craft book and um, they go along with the letter of the week. Now there are other crafts and I should have brought some of those up here but there are other crafts that go along with the read aloud book. So for example today we read Charlie Needs a Cloak I think was the title of it and so we are actually going to be getting blueberries from the store tonight and tomorrow we're going to be taking an old undershirt of my son's and working on dyeing that uh, material to be blue. So it'll probably turn out purple, but <laughs> because I, I mean, she thinks I want a blue cloak. And so she thinks that she uses blueberries. And so we're going to see how that turns out. But so that won't actually be like a cutting paper kind of craft. That'll be more almost like a little experiment that we're going to do. But it was, I thought the book was really neat. If you've never read that book, it shows you how um, the steps going from uh, wool on a sheep's back to, to a garment that you wear. So that was really neat. And we're going to do the dyeing step of that um, tomorrow. So if you follow me on Instagram, there will be pictures of that up tomorrow or later this weekend. And then, um, so, uh, so what we do, um, let me back up here. I'm sorry, this is kind of a scrambled review. I've, I've got like a half an hour to get like three videos in, so I'm, I'm kind of scatterbrained. Um, what we do is we will read the read aloud book and do the, and do the literature craft one day. Then we will read the read aloud book and do three pages of this on our, th our second day. And this is going really well. She's doing like um, anywhere from three to five pages a day. She loves this book. The only thing I don't like, I noticed in the, um, the other books in this series, she, or my son, when he was doing this, he um, had like a space, like if it had you cut out a page. So I see how here they had you cut out a page. Oh, it kind of got glued down to the next page, shouldn't it? Okay, let me show you a different one. Here, this one here. So this one, you know, you had to cut off something for this page to do. You had to cut out these little shapes and then put them in the right box. And they were in a paper strip down here. Well, then that meant that you cut off the bottom of this page, just that there was something there. So on my son's uh, books when he was doing them, he was doing like starting in like D or E or something like that. And they actually left the other side blank. So in these early books, like she's actually pretty bothered by that, that she's cutting something that she worked so hard on the day before or just, you know, just right then. And, you know, she's ruining her page. So that's one thing with this book particularly that they don't do. I know they do it in the other books, in some of the other books, because my son used doing it carefully. You know, he did Finding Answers and Going on Eagerly, the F and G book in this series. And they actually had blank space on the back when there was a cutout. So I was a little disappointed that, you know, because she, she gets so bummed and then I have to calm her down, tell her to just keep going. And so that, that's one little bummer, but nothing big. And then we're also doing the Bible pictures to color. And we do this on Friday. So we usually do pre-K on Mondays, Thursdays, no, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays is when we do um, our junior K. So again, I know I'm restating myself, but I'm, I'm super flustered. Monday we do the read aloud and the, and the read aloud craft from the craft book. Tuesday we do read aloud and our Rod and Staff books, or this Rod and Staff book. And then on Thursday we do the read aloud and the ABC craft. Okay, so that's what we do for pre-K. I'm actually using this as part of our Friday mo morning Bible time together. This is actually working out super great. And I wasn't even planning to do it this way, but this is what happened. So my son is doing language lessons for living education with Masterbooks. And that has, on day four of every week, a Bible reading and summary and coloring, like drawing a picture. And I'm not having him do that in language arts time. What I'm having him do is on Friday mornings, my son reads out of my daughter's picture Bible and reads the story. Like I'm actually going by this one here. So whatever pictures, I know we're working on realistic colors. Look at that. She wanted to make the lamb look like a unicorn, I think. Um, but in this picture, they told her what to color. Like, I don't know if you can see, let me see. Yeah, see right here, the little tiny numbers. And if you go back here, there's a key. 
So it told her what to color, and that's starting to tell her to have realistic color choices here. So that's good. But we use this on Fridays. Um, my son will read, so like next Friday we will read um, the story of Isaac being um, offered as a sacrifice. So we will read that story out of my daughter's picture Bible. And then my son will do at the summary, drawing a picture and copy work from that in his journal. And my daughter will color this picture. And it, if you follow me on Instagram, it's probably one of my favorite parts of the week. They both are just like, you know, laying on the floor or sitting on the couch or at the counter. We do it somewhere different every week. And they are just having their little Bible time together where he's reading it to her. And I'm, I'm usually there for the reading, but then they sit and each individually do uh, some Bible journaling in their own way together and talk about uh, what Brother read. So it's been a really special time. It wasn't how I intended to use this book, but it's, I think the most meaningful way that, that we could have um, ended up using it. So that is how we are using um, our books. It, it's pretty much as I told you at the beginning, a few little uh, tweaks here and there, but we are loving it. We are absolutely loving it. It is going so well. It takes us about 15 to 20 minutes a day to do the formal stuff, but then usually my daughter wants to go on and do other things. Like she'll say, mommy, can we, um, practice writing my name or can we um, practice counting sometimes she wants to play a computer game about matching letters or something like that but the the formal time is just about 20 minutes and um, I also am adding in calendar time weather um, name and address and phone number and things like that usually after the read aloud is over before we do the craft so before we do either the worksheet or some sort of hands-on thing while I still have her sitting on the couch with me after we read the read aloud, I will pick one of those things to do. So she's learning the months of the year right now, and then we're going to move on to her uh, first and last name um, and address. So uh, she knows her first name and last name, but she doesn't know how to spell her last name. So we're going to work on that and then um, her address. So those sorts of things I just kind of have in the back of my mind, like those kind of life skills, and I just um, pick one to work on each week and fit it in after reading time. So that's that's kind of how we're, we're, we're motoring along. We are in week seven right now of our homeschool year and um, we are on letter E this week. So not, you know, not too bad. We're not, we're, we're almost doing a letter a week and um, we've read, we've read that many read aloud too. We've read five read alouds. So we're, we're doing okay. Some weeks we, we take, you know, the week off of their read aloud and their crafts and just kind of do our own thing. She kind of has her own ideas about stuff she wants to do. So sometimes I'll pull those into, but we're, we're pretty much on track with where I thought we'd be for this point. And I will probably come back after Christmas time and show you a few more of our craft projects. And um, maybe at that point, I will show you what we plan to go on to next because she is, like I said, she's doing about four pages, three three to four pages, sometimes five a day um, in this. And so there's only 60 pages and we're already on page 27. So this book, I mean, we're going to be done um, right quick with this book. And I have one more here for her. I have the counting with numbers. So um, probably in my January update, we'll be done with that and ready to move on to something else. And I will let you know our plans for that. I'm still kind of stewing on what I'm going to do. So I will let you know in that next update. Take care, everyone. And if, if you want to check this out, please uh, consider using the link in the description below uh, to go over and check out their Junior K curriculum. Um, I am an affiliate with Memoria Press, and I, am, I would appreciate if this review and others like it have been helpful that you would consider using that link when you make your purchase. Take care. Bye-bye.